tilt, it starts fast. It's big. It's got some good things, but it has like 10 years of cooldown for some reason. Like she can't follow up off down tilt and she gets punished for free off, off tilt. It's very interesting. Yeah, her grounded buttons aren't the greatest, but that's why she has Zare and that's why she has F tilt uh, or up smash. Like she has enough grounded tools for the situations to be good, but you don't see her use up tilt much. Like it's frame three, which is nice, but it's not, yeah. it's not I meeting it. too much. Oh. I mentioned just because it was very safe in Smash 4, but now it's just like, wow, it's not a move anymore. No, not really. Oh, he fell out of there. Anyway, we are well underway to the first game. Kick, kick. It looks like, uh, it looks like Pit's up to, up to up air combo is going to be a non-option in this set. Yeah, that's just going to be hard to hit. I mean, this kind of so much of the match of chart with Izir suit in general. It's like, how easy of a time does this character have in hitting me? A character like Shulk is pretty straightforward. That matchup is really bad for ZSS, but characters like Pit, who's already, like his overall airspeed being a bit sluggish, like as a major flaw against ZSS, one of the fastest, one of the fastest accelerating characters in this game. Like, she's out getting here. Getting his hits is going to be few and far between, but he's making the most out of them thus far. Like 120, having the certainly. percent lead is crazy. Certainly making it work to be sure. Wow. I'm going to want to see that again. That looked like he dodged it because of his hit animation. It'll be very interesting to see. Just a little bit too soon. Still living though. And that should do it, yeah. Up smash quick enough. It's a good choice. Less risky if he misses it compared to all B. Ah, the combo does work. I thought maybe he had just enough. He just barely didn't have enough time to uh, escape the gang flip kicked out of. He's covering. He's covering a lot of defensive options so well. He knows that yes, web wants to air dodge. Luminous is, wants pretty to air dodge first. Luminous is a pretty strong idea of where uh, web JP is wants to be in a lot of situations. surprised at how like wide that down air can reach it's mostly sour spot but just by being a hitbox along along his bottom and his sides it's it's such a it's a underrated uh, ledge jump tool Set him with that dare again. They mi just nearly missing. Luminous playing this is a tight game, but you give you give any of these top tiers an, an inch and they'll take a mile. Nair to catch the roll, but trading. Patient gameplay coming out from both sides. Webb knows he can't just hold forward. Meanwhile, Luminous is trying to find his way in. Ledge jump? No, just need to get up. Airs will do the work for him in the meantime. <laughs> okay, Not <ice>. risky. <laughs> Not too risky. It was only at 50. Not the grab. The the, uh, the upper dash arm. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> 
And WebJP takes the first game in brutal fashion. Yeah, it's so unfortunate, like how like one one attempt at a reset made the game even, and Webb just kind of nickled and dimed his way from there. Like losing his second stock so soon after taking Webb's was just was a proverbial nail in the coffin. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna get up because I gotta go take care of some errands, like dinner. That's understandable. So, my apologies for not sticking out all the way, but I have a great replacement. Bars the journey. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tournament, and uh, yeah, see ya. Okay. As you. How's it going, Kevin? Pretty okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm bars. How you doing? Hi, bars. Nah, I'm. I'm <laughs> Bar said okay, so we'll just see how soon he can get in here. And if you want, both of you have webcams, so we could do that. We could do that. Yeah. I think uh, I would need to grab mine. Oh, no, then never mind. A very separate room. Ready? And there he is. Oh, perfect. It's my time. Yeah. Hello. Oh, it is time. It's time for Dark Pit, in fact. Oh man, this is back up. I this is, this is oh yeah. See, finally went dark. Pit. I was I was thinking to myself, why didn't he go dark pit to begin with? But now we finally see the dark pit. I wish there was like one more like big difference between pit and dark pit. Like I don't know. Wow. Okay. So did you see how he got that conver conversion off of the paralyzer off of ledge? Oh yeah. They like, hit. Luminous, mm, that's, that's, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's bad GI from here. Yeah. Happens, happens to everybody. Well, Luminous has been, his aggression off of ledge has been super good throughout this entire tournament. Like, whenever he finds his openings from, uh, when, while he's le in ledge hang, mm. like, he's able to take them for a ride. Yeah, that's, that's something to, um, can tell at, especially from the ledge. Um, he does have, like, like, a couple good moves off of ledge that are, like, pretty decent combo starters. But when you do stuff like that and you get hit by an air constantly, uh, you're gonna explode. It sucks though, cause um, I feel like he's he was playing a pretty patient ledge game up to this point. Cause I was I was watching the first game, um, and WebJP even in the last set he's been making people explode off of mashing off ledge. So yeah, Web has Web ZSS has gone from like a, just watching it develop has been such a treat. As watching any character, any player learn a character and their all and their ins and outs is uh, is so rewarding to watch. But watching a ZSS go from like just really straightforward ZSS gameplay to the style of gameplay we're a little bit more familiar with ZSS, where it's like patient poking and killing you off of a single touch. Mm. Yeah, and um, and Pet is definitely a character where well, well now he has um. He has a bunch of pretty good combo frames, but right now uh, you have WebJP kind of just walking and stalking uh, Luminous, and that's one of the things that's hard for Pit in this matchup is that ZSS is such a fast character, and like even when Pit jumps, his arrow mobility is in such a way where it's so floaty and slow. Sometimes uh, you can, you can have characters like ZSS that'll harass you in the air, and it makes it hard for you to land sometimes. Um, which like in like you know why in theory like this stage is like pretty bad for ZSS like you know he's probably our quote unquote worst stage, but you know as Pit sometimes it can be a little bit hard to land especially with the character stalking like ZSS so it's rough this matchup's kind of rough can be a little rough yeah just going like when you can't contest ZSS in the airspace uh, mm -hmm. and keep up with her speed, then giving her more room to use the air as a resource, mm -hmm. it just, it can, it can be problematic. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what I was saying, like, uh, this matchup is pretty annoying uh, for Pit because you have to play kind of lame. And like, when I say lame, it's like, you really have to take it slow because sometimes when you push the envelope a little bit against a character like ZSS, you could flip the scenario on the drop of a hat. 
and then you just explode, right? So you have to you really have to play really lame. Like he, he kind of was doing game one. Like see how he's doing it right now. Like he's not even directly engaging with her. So if you swing first against VSS and you mess up this hit, that can mean a lot of damage for you. So. It's such a double-edged sword looking at Pit, uh, like, intentionally not engaging, and that's the way to play a lot of matchups, It's or, uh, especially the ZSS matchup. Mm. But where ZSS makes you suffer in a, playing like a style like, in playing in a style like that, is her corner conversions are just so devastating. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and, I, and I think that's why we're seeing the pick back to Battlefield. Even though that Battlefield historically is a good CSS stage, for Pit at least, it gives you a lot of avenues to, to land, right? And it actually does give you chances to put ZSS where, where um, CSS is above you, where Pit excels in, um, is keeping characters in disadvantage, disadvantage above them. So, you know, this is already a good start for Luminous. I feel like this is already much better than Game 1. I mean, Game 2, excuse me. Oh yeah, game two. Game two looked like an experiment that was failed, so he went back to what worked in game one and decided to shore up, uh, shore up a lot of the things, shore up a lot of his flaws. Because he was winning majority of game one, but a couple, a couple things went out of his favor. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm, and I'm definitely liking this gameplay. He's definitely taking it slow. Not, not trying to attack the SS off ledge like he tried to get away with in game two. Um, but if you do a dash deck on shield like that, you're gonna die. It doesn't matter what character you are. But, um... Yeah, but even even though it's still it's still just a much better... It's a lot better than it was in Game 2. So... These Orbiters are coming in clutch, but... Besides a couple of... When he's at low percent, he's able to get plenty of combos off him. Whether doing just drift in there, or going in for down tilt. But once he... He's, He's having such a time trying to find this kill, even when he gets his opening. Yeah, and you see, yeah, so now, like, WJP already tacked on, like, about 100%, and he killed him, right? He killed him in about 30 seconds, because I feel like Luminous tried to make up that ground. And when you try to do that, right, Luminous was pressing the issue pretty hard, right, to make up that ground. ZSS is one of the characters, you try to make up that ground too fast. You get caught up in her pace, and, and Red JP, even though um, Luminous just took that stock, Red JP has been big hitting the pace so far in this set and in this game three. Oh, this is a run up grab. Even if, even if he didn't get anything on of it, if anything off of it, he made Luminous pick another ledge option, which he then immediately punished. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, and he's not getting that. He's not getting that di on um near flip kick right like i know it's guaranteed at certain percents a certain extent right but like if correct me if i'm wrong right i'm pretty sure you have to di in so she doesn't get that spike down hit up because they're not so hit you and you'll get hit right but you won't get spiked correct me if i'm wrong right i'm pretty sure that's the di right um, I believe that's right, because you can, it's a really finicky hitbox, so by DIing either, I think it's up and in, you can put yourself in the sour spot. Yeah. However, at 30%, I think it's just true. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, I was just, I was just trying to, yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, he, I mean, either way, I don't, he either just flat out died from getting hit by Nair, or he got the bad guy. Either way, it's like, CSS puts you in those, puts you in those situations constantly. And you know that's you know what it is, and this is this is why this matchup, you know, it is pretty tough. Um, it's definitely a matchup where like you do have to make reads against ZSS at like mid percents, right? Like um, you you do have to take those gambles. Like I I, I feel like the dark pit choice was good because if you wanna if you wanna try to cheese the stock at an early percent against ZSS, electro truck arm will do that. Like that that move is actually like. That move is actually out of control. That's the one move that's like completely out of control. It's, it's about the strength of like a Charizard Flare 